The beer of the today, obviously brewed by Bo's All Natural Brewing Company, should have been drank around Halloween. That was in their Oktoberfest pack. But I kind of had some other bottles in front of it and forgot it was even in there. 5.8%, so it should still be good and okay. I really hope. Be going down, people of the world! My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Return of the Mummy Medieval Mummy Ale by Bo's All Natural Brewing Company. Yeah, obviously the whole mummy theme and scariness should have been drank around Halloween. I don't know what the hell to expect from this Medieval Mummy Ale. I... I don't know. So, like, even if it's good it might not taste good to me or if it's gone bad it might taste good to me i don't fucking know let's crack her open <laughs> i don't know little man spinning around hit me in the head let's see what we got oh it's got a really nice color to it for sure let's go down the middle here and get some head on this shit some some shit on this shit a little bit of head come on head it up yes yes Yes, obviously not all going to fit in there, so we'll go like that, and then we'll go like, as always, all the thanks in the whole wide world, going to those you watch my videos, the beard loves you all, so very, 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 very much. Christ, that was almost awful. Yes, very, very nice color to this beer, not a whole lot of carbonation visible at all. It's got kind of a, a fruity. Smells a little bit like that Roggen beer that I had yesterday. I, I don't know what to expect at all, except cat hair. Always expect the cat hair. Let's give her a shot. It's all right. It's quite different. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. It was brewed on October 19th. Eighth month is October, right? October, November, December. Nope, that'd be September. September, October, November, December. Right? September, October, November, December. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> My brain is not functioning at full capacity right now, apparently. I may have recorded a vlog or two earlier. Um, but yeah, so it's about it's about four months old. A little over four months. I, no, 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 yes, yes, because that'd be December, so yes, yes. But at the same time, I don't know. It doesn't taste bad. People at Bose, if you're watching this, let me know if this review is tainted because you'd know better than me. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. It's like nice sweetness to it. Quite smooth. No hint of the slightly higher alcohol content. I don't mind it. Wasn't really, like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect. Medieval mummy ale. It just seems like maybe it's going to be scary. I'll probably get the rest of this in there now. I guess we can see if maybe there's anything. Even that looks a little bit cloudier. This might become scary. Eh, definitely became a little bit darker, but... <laughs> I don't think there was a whole lot of sediment in there. You can see, it's not as clear. Before, you could kind of see me through it at the very beginning there, and, and now you can't. So, let's let's give her a shot. Take two. Didn't really change the taste. Maybe. A little bit more sweetness to it. I was afraid maybe it was going to get a yeasty flavor, but there's no, there's no yeastiness to it. 
even though it didn't form a lot of head, it does have a nice, you can't really see it on the camera that well, nice creamy look to the head. I like that. It's not bad. <laughs> Today being January 8th, on this date in 1835, the U.S. national debt was zero for the only time. <laughs> yeah, it's a great record you got there, U.S. You are not that far away from going 200 years with a pretty big debt. Like, your debt now is... I can't even, th it might even be like in the trillions of dollars. In Canada, I think we've probably got some kind of billion-ish, you know. We, we're not doing, we're doing better, but not, you know. We can't be like, yeah, we're at zero, you're not, because we're not at zero. So. Just. A lot of debt, maybe hold back, maybe just hold off on a little bit of that military insanity you got going on. Maybe. Could help. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's not bad. It's different. Like the Roggen beer that I had the other day. Not really a style of beer that I would gravitate towards. Like, it's, it's okay, but it's not great, in my mouth's opinion. The ingredients are local spring water, barley malts, hops, red clover blossom, mugwort, dandelion root, caraway seed, black tea, majorum, cloves, thyme, and brewer's yeast. Everything being organic because it's cloves and that's what they do. And yeah, like I said, it was brewed then and I already gave you the alcohol was 5.8. It's number 55 in their Wild Oats series. And actually, come to think of it, I'll put this back and put this in this hand because it was part of their wild their Oktoberfest pack came with four different beers and it says a little something about each beer so this historical mummy beer style has been brought back to life return of the mummy is a medieval 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 era ale with a bouquet of botanicals including red clover blossom mugwort dandelion root and black tea this beer is spice forward with balancing residual malt sweetness. Initial aromas of gingerbread and malt and black licorice rise up from a subtle traditional hop aroma. Yeah, not really wrong. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is... I'm sure it's not completely how it should taste, being four months old, but... Maybe a little bit of the spiciness or something has faded. It's really not bad though. Compared to a couple other beers that I've had for longer than I should have and then tried them and they were bloody terrible. This, there's still, there is a spiciness to it. I can't identify fucking, what do you say, mugwort and what the hell that is. Dandelion root, never had. Black tea, never had. Red clover blossom, never had. So, as far as all that goes, I can't tell you if I taste any of this. There's even more than what it says there. It says it, uh, majorum, caraway seed, thyme, cloves. They put some shit into this beer. It's not bad. Definitely had a lot worse. On this date in 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson declared a war on poverty in the U.S. And it went just about as well as their subsequent wars on drugs and the war on terror. As in, didn't really do fuck all in the grand scheme of things. You want a war on poverty? You, Bernie Sanders would have probably helped some of that stuff, but but no. Go Trump! Yay Trump and his fucking insanity. Yeah. Ah. 
not a whole lot more I can say about it. Nice kind of spicy flavor to it. If you like beers with a lot of random spicy type shit, you probably would enjoy this more than I am. Like, I'm enjoying it, but I don't love it. It's not anything great for me. It's not bad. It's about as far as I can go. It's, it's not the worst Bose beer I've ever had, by far. And it's not the best Bose beer I've had, by far. It's it's very much middle of the spectrum as far as Bose beers go, according to the tongue. <gasps> On this date in 1981, a local farmer reported a UFO sighting in Trans en Provence. Trans en Provence? I don't know, in France. And this is apparently the most completely and carefully documented UFO sighting of all time. Yeah, like people came in and investigated and like the farmer, he saw something, he heard a whistling and looked and saw some some craft that apparently looked like two saucers, you know, inverted on top of each other, so a flying saucer. And apparently it was only like eight, ten feet across, so very small. And he went over to it and as he approached it, it took off. And then people came, he told people, they came and investigated, and apparently the area where it supposedly took off, they found residue of, like, burn marks, and apparently the ground had been subjected to a mechanical force of up to, like, five or six tons or something like that. What does it say? It's right here, isn't it? It was right... No, it is right there. Yeah, four or five tons. Haha, <laughs> I didn't have to scroll. Yeah, and also the area around had been burned at like three to six hundred degrees centigrade. So, something happened, but there's no, no official explanation was ever actually given. It's fucking aliens, man. They're out there. They're coming for us. They're gonna probe your ass, stick stuff up there. That'd be horrible. That'd be so horrible. <laughs> The ass on this human being is exit only. It's just, just the way it is. On this date in 1996, an Antonov AN-32 cargo aircraft crashed into a crowded market in Kin... Kinsh... Kinsh... Kinshasa? Kinshasa? In Zaire. It's fucking some weird African thing that I cannot pronounce properly and I apologize for that. They killed approximately 237 people in the market. And then all six crew members actually survived. So, enjoy living with that for the rest of your life? That'd be fucking terrible. You're just sitting there shopping in the market, you know, doing whatever, and all of a sudden you look up and there's a fucking plane crashing into you. And you gotta think too, like, you know, I'm sure a, a fair number of those people probably died, like, instantaneously. But in a plane crash, there's usually, like, big fireballs and shit and stuff. And a good number of those people probably suffered excruciating pain before they died. That's. When I go, however it happens, as long as it's. quick. Painless, you know? I don't want to... Not drawn out. Like, like, if I get cancer or something? Fuck. I might just jump off the roof of my building or something. Like, I've seen what that can do to people and the drawn out horribleness of it. Like, I don't want that. And I don't want to put my family through having to see me like that. That would be... I don't know. Like... At the same time, maybe I'd get through it and get cured, but I don't know. It's I, th I think I'm okay right now, so let's just change the topic to the mummy and stuff. Rambling tangents, they happen. Yeah, like 
really compared to the other beers that I had that were kind of old or a little bit pretty old, like they, they were bad. They, there was something that happened in that beer that was like, it's not really even drinkable anymore. This, while I can understand the flavor changing a bit over four months, I think this is still okay. Again, like I said before, anybody at Bo's watching, feel free to let me know for sure, because I'm not sure, but... It's alright. Very consistent flavor all the way through. Again, probably not a style of beer that I would grab to drink on my own time kind of thing, but it being the first one I've ever had of this style, maybe if I have a few more it would become something that I'd like because it, it's, it's not bad. A lot of beers when I have the first type of that beer, I'm really kind of turned off by until I start to accept it, start to, I can't think of the word right now, there's a word, adapt, maybe, that works, it's not the right word really, but it works, it's, it's close enough. Like I said, five point what five point eight, right? 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 Yeah. And a couple other vlogs were recorded today. So I'm feeling it a little bit. Finally on this date, in nine no, not nineteen anything, in two thousand five, the nuclear sub USS San Francisco collided at full speed with an undersea mountain south of Guam. Yeah, a U.S. nuclear sub couldn't tell that there was a giant pile of rock in front of it. I don't understand that at all. Like, apparently, the commander of the sub and a, few, and a bunch of the people on the sub, they weren't actually following, like, the proper procedures and shit like that, so stuff wasn't being done right on that sub. But at the same time... You buy a good quality fish finder from fucking Canadian Tire and throw that in the water and it'll tell you basically the, the lay of the land on the bottom of the sea. You're telling me a state-of-the-art United States nuclear sub can't use sonar or something to be like, hey, there's a fucking giant mountain right in front of us. Maybe we should turn. Full speed they hit that thing at. One person died and like almost a hundred people were injured on the sub. And they barely were able to get it back to the surface, at which point they were towed to Guam, I think, and then temporary repairs were made so they could get it back to the States and make full repairs, which ended up costing like $80 million to repair the front end of a sub. Like, I need to get into sub repair, because like, the, the, the fucking profit margins in that shit has got to be disgustingly high at the company that they hired to re repair it or whatever like how how could it be 80 million dollars how how even if they had to rebuild the entire front end of the damn sub it wasn't like the say say like put this on its side and it's the sub like the front end is like this the part that you can't see the rest of it's all there so like you have to fix this part of it how can just that part cost $80 million? Kind of mind-blowing. But anyway, in honor of the almost death, well, I guess the death of the one crewman and the almost death of everyone else on board and the sub, let's kill the mummy, drink number the last. Yeah. Definitely a very different beer style from 
pretty much anything else I've had aside, like I said, it's almost along the lines of like a Roggen beer. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, I did the Roggen beer review that I think had two days ago. That happened like an hour ago, maybe two hours ago. I'm not keeping track of time. But yeah, and that's kind of still in my memory. And it's, that's the only thing I can think of to compare it to because it's so different from everything else. But aside from the that and everything, blah, 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 blah. Bo is your Return of the Mummy, medieval style mummy ale rating. Excuse me. Yeah, that is a solid, like, seven and a half. For sure. And again, if someone is, and once again, for the third time now, I believe, if someone from Bose is watching, please let me know if I did drink this kind of past its best before date, and then this review would be null and void type thing. But aside from that, that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys have me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! Bose makes so many different beers. I must get at least one of your shirts. I need...